Hello friends, welcome to the fifth video of Gluster File System File Server Setup Series. And up to fourth video we cover up to this point and now we are gonna uh, install the CTDB and Samba packages. But before that I restart my nodes. So make sure uh, our all settings are fine, all mounts are working properly. So if we, I, I just restarted my both node and if you go to system monitor, you rem remember we mount this volume, Gluster FS volume, Fuse Gluster FS volume that is missing from here and somehow this is not working. So make sure all three volume should mount in your, in your all nodes. So for that we use mount. A, sorry, A and make sure you are in root so hit enter and we see that a hey, you know you have some problem here so maybe you need to restart the cluster paste and okay let's mount again right so after restarting the cluster service you are able to mount that and now you can see your all three volume same with sun 2 you see only two volumes there after restart right and I'm mentioning this because if these drives are not there these mounts are not there your cluster will not work so same mount a and sorry root can do this okay so in this here it's fine go to system tall and right so we have our cluster volume ready also let's uh, check the volume info status is started and brick data perfect and okay everything looks fine let's clear this also okay so the understanding is go to my computer and let me bigger this hmm. we have this cluster folder here inside that we have data this data we mount to our data folder and here we have volume 1 so inside this we will create two directory okay and that directory will be okay let's just okay let me just first install the packages which is required for CTDB and this whatever settings that we see before all the mounts that is required because before you proceed to install CTDB and Samba, your cluster FS should work fine. Otherwise, you will keep struggling with these settings, but the problem is coming from the back. So make sure all the settings which I showed you, you followed same. so we install this samba in all the nodes the basically this is uh, one library ctdb samba samba common winbind okay here things are ready clear clear 
it's still installing. Okay. Now we will create a directory for CTDB share. So uh, the basic concept for CTDB is uh, CTDB use a a folder in a common share and all nodes read the information from that common folder so still we have the volume which is ready we can create files and can be accessible throughout all the nodes so we will create this directory ctdb so uh, inside this we will create few files also we will create one more file uh, folder uh, for share so ctdb we are not going to show uh, share and i'm creating a share folder with uh, a full read write permission and later on we'll will manage the permissions through active directory and this all setup you only need to do in in one uh, node you no need to create in another node and this ctdb will not work properly until you actually make the C Linux 2 permissive. So make set and force 0 in all nodes. Okay. Now we'll, we, can, we will create a config file for CTDB. So let me explain you a little bit about these files. The first file we'll create is the CTDB file and that CTDB configuration include public addresses and this public address is your virtual IP addresses and CTDB manage Samba yes and CTDB manage WinBind yes and CTDB nodes and these nodes are all the nodes IP addresses like Sun1, Sun2 so first we'll just create this file and with this command we actually create a file and add lines into this so just open uh, to make sure that everything is fine edit data volume 1 ctdb ctdb conf okay so all these four lines we added into our file perfect everything fine now move forward Okay, let's just close this. Now create a node file. So in my case, I'm using uh, one and two, and my IP addresses are this. So according to your IP addresses, you add this file. And still, let's check like everything goes fine. Nodes. So I just created this file with a list of my IP addresses, nodes IP addresses remember. Now create a virtual IP file which is your public address file. And we are creating these files in our common area. Okay. So let's open the public address file just to show you how the public address should be so let's say uh, at uh, in my nodes IP addresses is like 6 and 7 and here I added 10 the reason is 10 is not associated with any system or any operating system 10 is a virtual IP addresses through that I can access the same share folder which I can access through 6 or 7 so technically if you if you write this this ip address or this ip address or this you will point to the same directory okay 24 is a subnet here sometime you use 16 it's depend on your nic i'm using 24 and ens 33 from where this is coming it's basically your network adapters name so to get that this name is like if if config command will tell you the adapter name 
so this is ENS33 that's why I copied this here and I put a, uh, a IP address here let's create one more virtual IP address let's say 10 11 okay so I have two virtual IP addresses here let's close this okay I will add this into my config file also okay so now we will we will remove a original config file into etc location so because whenever you install the ctdb it's already have a a config file there and now we will add a symlink our this common directory config file into the etc location so we'll we'll use okay let's go to cd ctdb oh etc ctdb and lsl so at this moment we don't have nodes here we don't have public address we don't have config.d and all these three files are in our common share and in all node these files must be same so let's this create a symlink and now let's see we have public address file we have ctdb config file we have nodes and everything works fine and it's showing that okay this is coming from a data volume ctdb public addresses this process you have to follow in uh, all on all nodes okay so perfect now we have to disable the samba service because we mention our ctdb will use our samba ctdb will manage our samba okay and now enable ctdb So this will put the CTDB in the startup in all okay up to this point let's check the status of our CTDB and if you put CTDB there are a lot of commands there but what we will use is status and it's showing that hey you know it's a CTDB is actually not running so to run that actually you can use system ctl restart ctdb okay and then again let's check the status okay when you are seeing the status it shows that node 6 is disconnected and even node 7 which is sun 1 is unhealthy and this is not good if you want to access your files through samba okay so make sure these both must be in okay state let's see in in our sun 2 restart that okay so we restarted here and clear ctdb status so both are connected but both are unhealthy and that's not good so what is the problem what is the problem with this nodes to actually goes unhealthy 
now the seven you see after some time it goes okay so don't be panic if straight forward this node shows unhealthy because your ctdb process still keep looking for the right configurations and make your node available for all so as we see that seven which is sun one is now okay and let's see the status here our both nodes are okay our both nodes are okay so now we clear and see ctdb ip so if you see ctdb ip there are two public ip will be appear there and now this is virtual ip but you can ping to these ips so ping so when you are pinging that means your ips are working fine same will do for sun 2 let's check our ip 11 perfect so our ip 11 is working fine so up to this state we successfully built uh, set it up the ctdb software and now okay so in the end you must see all nodes okay and the generation with some numbers okay and if you reach up to this level then we move to the next video where we will see how we can set up samba okay see you in next video